All right, so this you just tuning in, we're about to do some 4v4 arena between me and the viewers. Uh, this is going to be a quote-unquote inexperienced player match. Uh, so it's basically going to be me on one team, God's Knight on the other. Uh, the idea is that God's Knight and I are going to be limiting ourselves to one town center until like 40, 45 minutes into the game to try and make this match a little more fair. And then the rest of the players in this match are of a relatively, I guess, lower skill level than the two of us, so uh, don't expect plays. Of course, everybody wanted me to play as the Chinese, since uh, those of you who used to play with me back on Fuglia, I was infamous for being horrible at the Chinese, so we'll see if I've improved at all over the years, but let's not, let's not put too much faith in that. But yeah, this will be a more casual match, so I'm not really going to be playing uh, particularly seriously. This is a more of a, a fun, fun, casual game. So if you guys have any questions and whatnot that you want me to answer, uh, feel free to leave them in the video comments and I'll answer them in uh, future videos, or just in the comments, or uh, leave me uh, some message in the Twitch chat. <laughs> so we're playing as the Chinese today, and, and we're doing the map arena. Of course this is on uh, the Forgotten expansion pack. And the reason that uh, I'm not, or at least I, I didn't used to be very good at the Chinese, I'm a little better now, is just because they have such a radically different opening than other civilizations. Starting with no food at all means that you definitely should research Loom right off the bat, and that's something that I always forgot. <laughs> like, uh, I would random Chinese and everybody would be like, Oh, GG, this is Chinese, let's, uh, let's remake. Well, back then I was a Luminite, yeah. I'm like, well, we should really remake. And, uh, I have won matches as the Chinese, though, it's just never really been my strongest sieve, and... Oh, I see, so there's trees on the other side of this gate. Awesome! Troll gate, dude, that is, that's cool. I want to see and figure out uh, what resources are over there. And of course, you know, if you guys are new to this game and you're just sort of struggling, struggling if the struggle is real, you kind of suck at Age of Empires and you want to get better, I've got, I've got plenty of videos, like, in my Resident Evil Teaches Rookie Player series, as well as plenty of tutorials that will... Hopefully, hopefully, be very useful to you guys in learning the basics because I cover the basics in most of my most of my older videos, and I try to keep things fresh. You, know, so you guys, I guess, have a reason to keep watching. You know, keep things entertaining. I don't think there's any more minerals back there, so I think I can just go aggressively scout. My base actually kind of sucks because I'm just kind of jutted out. You know, and now the problem also with the way that the Chinese works out is that I've got to constantly force drop off my food, otherwise my build production will not be sustained. Will not be sustained. Yeah, so the, yeah, there's two separate ratings for Age of Empires 2 HD edition. You have a rating for deathmatch and a rating for like random map and, and like, King of the Hill and those things. Uh, so yeah, and people's ratings won't necessarily be very accurate though due to the abundance of out of sync errors and disconnects and whatnot. But what's red and smells like blue paint? <laughs> red paint. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, the force drop off is real. Oh yeah, and then... Oh, that, that delay though. And then yeah, since your town center like, uh, is more pop or whatever the hell that is. Yeah, why am I at a 20 right now? I don't have to only build two houses. Yeah, I don't have to build another house before I hunt my boar. Right, I know my town centers do give like 10. Oh, oh, that boar almost got away. Almost got away, and I haven't. I'm missing sheep, I guess. So I need to force drop off to get two food to sustain this build production. The struggle, dude. Uh, yeah, where are all of my sheep? Perez would like to know. It's no, indeed. Red paint, yes. I have heard. I have heard that joke. It is a very, very funny joke. All right, game. Really funny. Very funny. Now where where are my sheep? Alright, playing the Chinese with no sheep. Oh there we go. Oh, okay. Right, so if you need to pick Chinese or Incas as your favorite civ, which one would you pick? I mean I'd much rather play the Chinese. I mean my problem with the Incas, I mean it, they've got some cool bonuses to them, but they really they really, really have the no good mobile units at all, and that's a problem because it's really hard to raid as the Incas because all their uh, all their units are not 
not fast enough. I mean, sure they have that, uh, whatever that technology is called that gives like 10% movement speed to their like slingers and stuff, but, uh, but that's, you know, that's still not enough. They're not fast enough to raid with it. And sure their Eagle Warriors are super fucking fast, but they, they suck. <laughs> they legitimately, they're, they're crappy compared to all the other, uh, all the other Eagle Warriors in the game. They've got nothing, so. The, the Incas just don't have, uh, they don't have good fast units, which is a problem. Uh, and without, like, access to gunpowder or anything like that, the Incas are just missing too much. They don't have, uh, they don't have, like, many solidified strengths. They're way too well-rounded, yeah, and so it's just really hard to, uh, play them in the late game, honestly. Uh, when, when other civs are really, uh, starting to get their, their OP units out, it's hard to compete with them. So we guess they only have six sheep. Red, what is red and looks like corrupt capitalism? <laughs> I see, I see, I see. So yeah, this should be a uh, should be nice and nice and fun casual match. I'm right next to the pro kida, the pro kida. I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, plop out some Shuko news, I guess. I'm gonna be going easy on these guys though, so <laughs> don't expect uh, the uh, top the top level plays. Top level plays. I want to do my six v two bot again on stream. That's a good question. Uh, I, I realize that when I stream it, uh, it tends to not run particularly well. It tends to be kind of laggy, so that's why I haven't streamed it in quite a while. Because yeah, people like tend to DC, and it just doesn't tend to be a very uh, a very particularly great experience. So I've just not been doing that recently. Now, I have actually updated my AI map since then, and I'm sure a lot of you would like to see where uh, where I'm going with that, so I think I'll just be basically limiting it to offline uh, recording, and since, you know, I've been very busy with exams and, and allergies have been ravaging me, uh, and they still are, uh, I haven't really had much time uh, or the ability to really uh, record that offline, which is why we haven't seen it in a little bit. Of course, my allergies are, are very, very severe, uh, so like some pollen, uh, grass, uh, animals, dust, mold, you know, etc, etc. So I'm just, throughout most of the year, I'm pretty, pretty sick, so it's hard for me to get the time uh, to record them. Uh, record those 6 2 a.m. at matches, especially because they're also really long, too. But I will definitely do one uh, in the not-too-distant future, so that I promise you. Now, I, I did get housed there, but I didn't get housed long enough uh, for anyone to take a shot if you are doing my sort of obscure AOE2 drinking game. So, no, that is not that is not a shot worth it. Now, I get the feeling that these guys, yeah, they, yeah, they should auto-task auto under you, that would be kind of sick. I'm going to have a slow-as-hell feudal age uh, this time, because I, I guess the, my guys decided to not task under the deer. Okay. Sometimes I forget that they don't do that. We should be watching Oh, no, guys, Knight's going to win this fight because he struck me first, so. I get to run from him. Yeah, my feudal age is going to be slow, but it doesn't matter. I don't really play in this match necessarily to win it, I'm more or less playing this to give them a fun match. Give them a good time. So if my feudal age is just piss slow, it's okay. Yeah, because I just don't have enough food right now, because I'm supposed to wait for the first... I need to wait for them to finish this deer in advance. I think I'll just cancel those bills, actually, and just wait for the deer to come my way. Or I'll just force drop off right now. Actually, no, I don't even need to. I can just let them finish the deer. Alright, yeah. Feudal Age will be slower. I see, I see, I see. I'm going too fast, I'll slow down. Don't worry about it, God's name. I'm sure this will be fine. I'm sure these teams are relatively fair anyway. Oh yeah, how did my- oh yeah, my exams? Uh, I think they went pretty well. Uh, I know I did extremely well on my English uh, English final, which uh, I'm really, really proud of, as well as my final essay. So I know I did really, really well in English. Uh, I had exams for English, and then I had um, uh, poli-sci, introduction to poli-sci, and then uh, microeconomics. Uh, the microecon one, I think I did okay. Wow, I actually lost my scout, that sucks. I think I did okay on that one. I don't think I did bad on any of them, per se. Uh, the poli said one I think I did pretty well on. So, overall, I think it was pretty good. I think, uh, I think it worked out, man. Yeah. Well, 
bears to grizzly bears too? Probably. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe I could build up a tolerance to grizzly bears if I uh, just go out in the wilderness and I just uh, hug some, so. They brought out some weird thing here that you breathe into and clears all the dust and stuff from your lungs to help with allergies and stuff. Never heard of that, but that sounds pretty cool. Really, I'd take any relief I can get. <laughs> Oh no, no, it's micro econ. I haven't been doing macro econ. But I'll probably be taking that class at some point soon. Uh, next quarter I'll be taking uh, whatever the next poli sci course is. It's uh, something about like government relations or whatever. I don't even remember. Slowest feudal age ever. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. And then I'll be taking uh, like art history or something like that. And, uh, like, uh,. European Renaissance history, yeah. I think that's what the last one is. We'll see how that goes. Why y'all being stabby? Stop stabbing me. Is this some grizzly bears? They smell like paint. Maybe that's what the villagers are huffing in Age of Empires too. Maybe they all huff grizzly bears, guys. Is that... I wonder. I have to ask the developers. I feel naked without my scout, man. I need my scout. Yeah, I like to imagine that all the villagers in this game, they're like Cheryl from, uh, from Archer. They're always huffing that glue. I feel like season 5 of Archer hasn't been particularly great, which is unfortunate. Wait, so this guy still has the food, right? Okay, he does, yeah. Alright. Get me that deer. Bears got so fed up with Vil's huffing paint. Yeah, man, they really gotta... I don't know, these, these Vils really gotta lay off that, man. That can't be a healthy lifestyle. Alright, gotta remember. No town centers, no town centers, no town centers. Can't build an extra one until at least, like, four minutes. Normally I would say I can't... Oh, there's there's my sheep. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, those are pangos. Oh, so he... Okay, I guess that's why I didn't see them. Because they didn't convert, because... Okay, that's actually kind of weird. Whatever. Now no. I know where they are. They're useless to me now. I don't need them. I do watch Archer. It's a really, really good show. Yeah, it wouldn't be AOE without the pain of bills, that's true. Yeah, it appears that you've converted some of my sheep, uh, Pango, but, uh, Penguino, but it's okay. I don't need them anymore. Those sheep are holding me back, dude. Sheep are the worst. Wow, why is everyone stabbing you at their scout, man? You know, he's actually gonna do some decent damage to this gate over time. Yeah, definitely Darth Stanley. Uh, the last episode was actually not that bad. I just find that Pam is extremely annoying now and not funny, which is uh, unfortunate because Pam is supposed to be hilarious. You just, uh. I don't know. Alright. I keep thinking I'm going to build another TC, but I can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, I can't kill you with this cow. Yeah. Yeah, because it's dead. Rip. Hmm. Perhaps what I can do is expand my base a bit. You know what's always been just amazingly bad uh, in Age of Empires 2? This stupid wall building! Oh my god. It is, uh, it's always been just absolutely just ass on ass on ass. But, thankfully, I managed to build that. I should build a spearman and just take care of that. Hmm. To spearman or not to spearman? I feel like it is not efficient for me to get handcart right now. I don't have nearly enough villagers. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. Watch. Wow, he's doing, he's doing some damage. Tons of damage. Somebody called Freak, because he's doing tons of damage. 
Oh, I, I'll Celtic Scorpions any day, Vanilla. Or Vanil. I'm gonna say Vanil. <laughs> Speed right here, you shall dodge it? Oh no. But yeah, uh, no, Celtic Scorpions any day. I mean, uh, the, the Chinese ones are nice and all, but they, the Chinese don't actually get Siege Engineers, so they have, uh, one less range than the Civs that do have Siege Engineers, which is bad. Uh, I, I really, really value range on my Siege weapons quite a bit, and having, uh, less range is... It's definitely not. Yes. Penguin O, if you could build... Actually, wait, no. You, you even mark it towards the front of your base. I was going to say, if you ever get the money, Peng, uh, Penguin O, if you could put one, like, towards the back of your base, you know? Like, like uh, all the way... In it. You see where they got that, that male villager just standing around, you know, like, in that area? If you could put a market there, I would love you, like, uh, five ever. That's, that's one more than four ever. Being attacked by wild animals? God's Knight is not a wild animal. You take that back, Age of Empires. That is rude. Oh, Van Lee? Oh, okay. Hence the three. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, my bad if I mispronounce people's names. That is probably, honestly, the hardest part of streaming. No, I'm kidding. That's not the hardest part. But that is a, that is a struggle. No, I was going to wall him in like uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. Damn it. Or I hope that's the right story. I don't even remember, honestly. It's pretty sad, honestly. Pretty sad. Ah, he escapes. I was going to wall you in on your own tomb. All right, all right here's an actual, actual analogy. Just like, uh, just like in uh, Antigone, yeah. Burial of Thebes. It did not work out. He escaped from my tomb. Wow, why is this vill like, why is the one vill that I needed, like, so close to dead already? Ah, I'm just gonna let him kill it. He's gone through, uh, so much trouble, you know, it's the least I can do. Let's see, did he put that market back there? Here he is. Penguino, you are building a town center. so much closer to the front of the base. Uh, Penguino, could you build a market next to your base? Is my shit getting converted? <laughs> it's converting one of my villagers. Oh my goodness. Alright, touche, man. Danke, comrade. Alright, I should really uh, strategically get a uh, handcart right now. <laughs> oh yeah, he's getting all the relics, that's actually smart. I should probably do that too. But whatevs. See, look, look at uh, look at Penguin, oh man, he's building another TC. I like to see this. Chamber... Uh, Chamberland needs to build another TC. Amazon's gonna... Oh, I mean, Urcher rushed by Delta? That's crazy tall. Build a second ten center. Give him the cutesy face. Bitches love the cutesy face. Oh, the cask of Amontillado. Damn it, you're right. No, that's what it is. That was, that was what it was. I got. I knew I got it mixed up. They sound way too similar. <laughs> I butchered that, man. Yeah, the cask of Amontillado. Yes, because I read it like 17 times. I just keep forgetting what it's called. God's not here and dick, because that's a new scout. That's a fresh scout. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, bro. You actually made another scout just for me. Nice try, guy. Yo, look at this pathing. Path look at this pathing, path dude. You guys see that crap? Yeah, he's gonna live. I'm gonna let him live. Look at this pathing. Path what the hell is this guy doing? Are you guys seeing this? Holy shit, dude. Wait, what? So there's a hole right here, and this gate is not fully built <laughs> despite appearing fully built? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a healed scout. What is going on right now? What is going on? The drugs, dude. They're way too real right now. Ugh. 
All right, all right, all right. Time to just plop down some houses, you know, they, they tend to make things better. Well, I don't know why Delta decided to go archers, that makes no sense in Arena. Uh, because, you know, we're all walled up. And what's he gonna do? <clears throat> He'll never get through these walls, so I don't know why he, he wasted his resources. He should've just gone to the Castle Age and just built some extra TCs and sort of boomed off this, you know? Alright, good. Chamber... Chamberland built a... a TC. Good, good. And now this means he gets to keep up with all the players. Oh, it is so hard to play with one TC. Mika was, like, so weak for so long. Koreans are good with navy? Yes. Yes, you should mass navy, Delta. Mass the navy. I should build another gate. That gate all the way back there is so useless. It's so, like, that's such a small choke point. So I don't know what he's, uh, yeah, I'm building a castle I can do as well. I don't know why. Why he's, uh, he, like, he, look, he's invested in, uh, fletching and, like, uh, scale barding armor, I believe is the, is that one? I bet there's no water. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't go for a flush, uh, like, feudal age rush. Uh, arena guys, you will never get through those walls. It's definitely a good idea to attack someone in the Castle Age on Arena, but it is not a good idea to do it in the Feudal Age, because you're never, ever, ever going to get through those walls. You're gonna need at least some rams, you know. Hopefully that makes sense some way or another. Yeah, since I can't make multiple TCs, I might as well just make some trade. He's never gonna get through these walls, I mean... Oh. Thank you, Chamberland. Good eyes. It was actually that, yeah, that would have been annoying. I would have actually had to do something in response to that. But I would much rather just build up. <laughs> build up a mono trade card economy since I can't make multiple TCs, since I'm handicapping myself, to be fair. So we know how long it's going to be streaming for. This will be the last match of uh, today's stream, but. I'll be doing an extra stream next week, so... And, of course, in the meantime, if you guys are really bored and you want to play, like, League of Legends or something with me, just add me on League. I'm still Resonance 22. Of course, by the time you watch this video, my friends list might be full, so it's a first-come, first-served debut. Uh, and if I remove you, since I hadn't played with you in, like, forever, then it, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. And you can definitely add me again. It's just if I, uh, if I don't play with you over the course of, like, a month or something like that, then what's the point of having me on that? Uh, on your friends list, you know? Sorry, yeah, wait, you asked me what? Uh, bit... vault for trade cards? Uh, yes. Yes. The second one, thank you for asking. Oh, yeah, and of course, it goes without saying that if your TC dies, go yes. by all means, build another one. Okay, now we are uh, getting stuff out. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and get a, a huge gold eco rolling since I can't really build much else. It's so slow without, uh, without extra TCs, man. Oh my god, wait, is, uh, is the pro, uh, the pro Gaida, is he going to take up my mill? You can flush on Arena if you tower hop through the corner. Yes, that is true. That is true. But that is not often going to work. But it can, if you execute it perfectly. But yeah, you have to really commit to it, though. You gotta go with towers as well, so... Sorry. Yeah, I do plan NAS. Waste many gates just to leave the wall? What am I, scared of pussy? No, I, I need this wall here because it looks kind of cool. Uh, and I'm going for the, uh, the aesthetics game, uh, this match. Yes. I want this. 
Why is Delta targeting an old chat? Ah, yes, nicely done, Amazon. Yeah, the Delta made the mistake of uh, going for feudal age aggression here without actually uh, really committing to it, because he's going to have to, like, like one, it was way too late. Uh, it was just so not worth it at all. Ah, yes, of course, guys, I think he's still it. Yeah, it was just so not worth it by any stretch of the imagination. There was no way he was going to get through my walls, so I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, but that was not gonna, that was just not gonna happen. So it, the, the phrase, completely not worth it, is 100% uh, accurate in this case. Like, he got, he got nothing out of it, and it put him really far behind, so now he's gonna take it in the butt. Oh, crap, he's already in. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, I'll, uh, send some dudes over. the situation. <laughs> I'll take it. And we'll go fortified walls as well! See how uh, how far I can take this. and we're good to go. Not a big deal. It was a lot less scary than I thought it would be, honestly. He did not really have too much. But then again, I've got nothing either. Because <laughs> I got no money. Yeah, this is a multiplayer match for the Chicken Wings. Nice name, by the way. Of course, if you guys are uh, are enjoying the particular stream, man, you should totally check out the, my YouTube channel. Links below the live stream. If you miss any of the matches during today's stream, they will, of course, also be uploaded. I see that uh, Amazon has uh, actually been repelled. Okay, I think I'll also start building up uh, more TCs now. I think it's fair if I lift that handicap out. Since I let God's Knight do it. It's fair. So I shall start. Conscription and uh, trebuchet. It looked like Bosaw this year, though. That would be that would be chill. We could do that. Bosaw, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bosaw. Mr. Saw of many bows. Of course not. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I was being, I was being relatively hopeful. But oh, of course not. That's absurd. There's no way. That was so wishful. So yeah, I'll lift the, I'll lift the handicap. For you at this point. Of course, if you're unaware, I, I'm handicapping myself to one TC, or I was. Uh, because this match uh, features players, I guess, of a relatively lower skill level in order to be fair. That way, players of all skill levels can play with or against me. And it won't be unfair. Uh, God's Eye is really committing to this forward, which I think uh, may or may not be a horrible idea, but you know, I'll roll with it, I'll roll with it. Oh, 
That's a lot of stuff, though. He's got a lot of mega daddy. Don't point that thing at me! Ooh, that's a lot of mega daddy. Gotta watch out for that one. Need to refresh this lumber camp. This guy's not farming for no adequate reason. Plunder victory if you lead. There's not going to do that. Yes! Yes! Plenty of other things like that, of course. Yeah, if you guys want to improve it, improve it, I have quite a few other videos on that subject, but I'd be more than happy to answer your questions as, as the game goes on. Oh, good job, Amazon, holding that off, actually. Yeah, see, the problem with God's Knight right now is that he's, uh, he's stretched too thin. You know, like, he's really... Whoa, 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 whoa. He's really in a situation right now where, uh, he's just kind of surrounded. He's surrounded himself by, uh, being, you know, this aggressively far out. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Whoa, 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 you guys gotta focus down those, those mega die, actually. Or am I? That is the question. And bills though. Wait, maybe I can convert one of these. Maybe that'll make it better. That's the plan. Uh, I should probably just make Chuka news, because they don't cost a lot of food, so I should be able to find these. Delta should probably set his uh, his chat to not all chat. You know, uh, by clicking on the trumpet and you know, setting it so that it, it only chats to allies, because <laughs> we can uh, we can read everything he's typing. Which is funny and unfortunate, I guess. Definitely not working in his favor. Yeah, this is this is uh, this looks like this will be a decent match. Uh, just uh, Delta needs to get in this game though. That's the problem. Because right now Delta just does not have uh, an eco at all. I love your bills, man. I'm loving it. Yeah, like Delta just has no bills at all. I think uh, Chamberland could use a few more though. But I do like that he's got three TCs. I like that. He could probably get more though. Time to get uh, ballistics. I'm gonna need a ton of trade profit this game because uh, that's really all I focused on early game. So it works out. Well, okay, so I've got food and gold now, so perhaps it's time to invest in uh, cavalry of some sort. You need gold? I get you gold, dude. Got your back. Okay, now we don't have gold. Okay, now the struggle continues. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're getting this, uh, this eco rolling. I do believe we've got a uh, God's Night on lockdown, though, so it's uh, up to me to take care of the Mongols, which are really a, a late game menace. This guy looks like he has boomed to an insane degree. But yeah, Delta has been untouched for a bit. I mean, he's being defended by his teammates quite nicely, but he really needs to get into a ton of town centers and just, just boom back in this. Oh my god, Purple's got stuff. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta wait to engage. We gotta wait to engage. He is more than prepared. Wow. That, he is going to destroy me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. I can barely afford it. Hold up close, baby. No, 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 no. No, baby, we can work this out, I promise. We can talk this out, man. Uh, don't leave me, don't leave me. Alright, do you? Not bad. Need to get 
get uh, some units that are good against his uh, his siege onagers and crap, which uh, I don't have. So like heavy cavalry. Don't really need those anymore. Uh, although I kind of do need more houses still. Alright, well, hopefully, uh, Penguino and I can take care of these dudes. Yeah, Penguino, you are, uh, yeah, you know, you're, you're quite a good player, definitely. Um, I still don't think, though, that you'd really, uh, fit in with, like, the crowd, including Detrides, per se, but uh, still quite a good player. Just don't, uh, don't forget your blacksmith upgrades, though. I mean, it's easier said than done, of course. God, Jesus, purple snow. Such a scary, scary looking army. I hate to fight that. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's gonna be a problem. He's gonna deal with purple uh, cavalry, I think. And honorers of our own. Oh, yes. Floating wood. But, I mean, I guess that makes sense. You have a ton of lumberjacks. But the nice thing is, is if you just spawn your, uh, your bills on wood, you can just shift them onto food with uh, relative ease. Did not mean to bump that hotkey. It's a research town launch. Never seen people play AOE online? Well, now you get to. We have plenty of other matches. Uh, oh my god. Of. Uh, Online matches on my YouTube channel. I think one of the best ways to learn is to watch, of course, that and practice against the bots. But they're really fun. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. We gotta engage him. Send the troops, please. Ah, uh, Chamberlain has advanced. Cool beans, cool beans. But yeah, I think the most important thing, I mean, if you have to remember a couple of little rules for online play, is one, make a crap load of villagers. I, I really do mean it. You want, like, 100 plus villagers as fast as you can afford to get them. So, keep that in mind. You're going to need lots of town centers to reach that goal of 100 plus villagers. Uh, and you're also going to want to not forget your blacksmith uh, technologies. That's really important. That, and you're going to also want to build a wide variety of units. There's no one size, uh, one size fits all unit. Yes. All right, we must fight. Oh, I think we can take him on, though. I mean, we outnumber him. He's boomed like a god, though. Uh, Big Widow's got some some dudes he could probably. He's blown up so much of my infrastructure, that sucks. I kinda like that. But yeah, uh, build, build a wide variety of military units, you know? Like, you can't just mass the longbowmen and expect to win, you know? Because longbowmen don't do crap against buildings, so... You wanna make sure you get a well-balanced army, remember your technologies, and you make a ton of villagers. Because if you don't have a ton of villagers, you're not gonna be able to uh, produce a military quick enough to deal with your opponents. So hopefully that makes some sense. Oh my mongol Christ. Send those dudes. <laughs> oh my, it appears we have been, uh, we've reached an impasse. The Mongols are real. Oh god. Penguano, your idle army, it, it calls to me. She. No! I needed to replace those, then. Okay. Alright, alright. I see how it is. Oh, no. My eco is just not in a position for this one. Oh, oh nasty. We've, uh, we've let the Mongols boom. That was a horrible mistake. 
Yep, we need lots of TC as well, making buildings. Looks like we managed to go over this. Yeah, Delta, unfortunately, he just, I don't know, he spent so long not making bills. I don't know why. Don't, don't rush over me, guys. It's not gonna work. Okay, I guess we're pausing for a second. So, I don't know. Let's see if I'm missing anything. How would you rate the CPU to rating? Like, what would it take? Oh, that's a good question. So, if, uh, RDX, uh, I, uh, RDHX, I, I, I asks, how would you, uh, rate the CPU to rating? Like, what rating would it take to beat the computer on moderate, hard, etc.? So, basically, I would say that, uh, okay, uh, I guess easiest, you know, I, I think you should not play a lot if you can't beat the easiest computer. I mean, that, because that's saying standard or standard again is also incredibly easy. It, it's really not a challenge at all. You literally can't lose because they don't uh, they don't actually kill your villagers. So standard is not an accurate representation of how well humans play. So maybe the absolute bottom of the barrel would be like you know, like 1,200 rated players maybe or something would be like standard PC, uh, standard CPU equivalent. Um, so uh, for the standard AI, I would say you know moderate would be something along the lines of 1,500 to 1,400 rated players. It definitely plays like the yes uh, the lower end of players, but you know it, it still advances at a reasonable time, applies reasonable pressure, but it just doesn't build up a strong enough eco. Sounds to me like uh, you know, like uh, some of the lower rated players, maybe the uh, weaker players that are showcased in some of my casual matches, kind of meet that description. Hard is maybe like again like 1,500s low 1500s, uh, hardest would be, you know, the 16, uh, I guess we'll go like 1650 to, you know, around, around 1650 to maybe the barely 1700 rating. I think we'll go with that. I think, uh, oh no, purple actually DC'd. Damn. Yeah, purple went out of sync there, he DC'd for a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Game didn't crash yet. Purple's toaster oven. Hang on. No. Out of sync detected. No. The toaster oven. It overheated. Purple's TI-84 calculator cannot handle his DOS 3.0 emulator. No. And it has finally crashed. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I mean, it happens all the time, honestly, I'm kind of used to it, so not a big deal, not a big deal, but... This match would have been really interesting otherwise, I think. I I'm not 100%, I'm pretty sure we would have won this eventually, just because uh, Delta was basically out of the game. Uh, I mean, if we, want, if we look at his, uh, his vil count, you know, like 55 is pretty low. Uh, I guess, yeah, Chamber uh, Chamberland really didn't have much of an eco either. You really want to get to this minimum threshold of 100, which, uh, he never really got to, and you want to get to that threshold of 100, like, ASAP. Uh, but, you know, the difference between Chamberland and Delta is that uh, Chamberland actually had a base left, and, and Delta really didn't. But, I, I mean, this would have been a really close match regardless, though, because both of these players did have a relatively similar-sized economy, so... Yeah, it's hard to say how it would have gone. I mean, Purple was playing extremely well. He had a very, very strong, uh, strong army, so... You know, taking him out would have been pretty tough. It would have been fun to see how that unfolded, but we probably would have won it eventually anyway, but... Ooh, it would have been nice. It would have been nice if the match, uh, The match finished. But this happens all the time. I'm kind of jaded in that regard. <laughs> have we started the donation page to raise awareness of toasters? <laughs> I don't know if I should set up a fake charity for hashtag save the toasters fun, but I mean, this is a pretty good example, guys, of why we need to, uh... <laughs> if you guys don't know, in one of my, uh, in, during the last stream, and I'll be uploading the VOD for that on my channel, uh, today, if you're watching this live, uh, is that, uh, I was talking about how I think we should start a fake, uh, like a fake charity fund where people donate money, uh, to it so that we can buy actual, uh, PCs for people, you know, who can't afford them and are playing, uh, Age of Empires and other games in their toaster oven and, and lagging it for everybody. Is uh, we just gotta donate enough money, you know, and we can uh, we can save the toasters. We can put the toasters back in their natural habitat in the kitchen where they belong, and not playing Age of Empires. <laughs> but uh, you know, easier said than done. That would take so much money, obviously. 
Anyway, fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I, I mean, I had a lot of fun with this particular match. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like rating, as always. I really do appreciate it. As well as check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel. I also do have a Facebook page and a Twitter page, and I do live stream regularly, of course. Links to all of those in the video description or just below the live stream. So, of course, thank you so much for the support, as always. Uh, I do appreciate it, and I will uh, be back in a moment to uh, close off today's live stream. So, thank you again for the support, and I'll be back in just a minute.